And now, your Big 2 local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Good morning, everyone. A live look here for you outside of downtown Midland. Nice view here outside of the tall city, but we're seeing some cloudy weather conditions, though, outside here, as you can see. Tower cam lenses picking up those uh, clouds here just a little bit. They are moving from the north to the south, so the, we're going to see a little bit more before they begin to clear out. But after they do clear, we are looking at triple-digit temperatures beginning to influence our weather here this afternoon, which is going to make things a little bit uncomfortable, unfortunately, outside. Overall, we're just very dry, too, so do expect this over the next several days. We'll talk about the reason why coming up in just a little bit. Again, those clouds moving from north to south. We're seeing some showers, very light though, across parts of Eddy County near Artesia. Those are moving with the clouds as, as well off towards the south. We also have a few showers that are off towards the western basin in areas of the northwest basin like Andrews County and also down near Kermit. We're looking at a couple of light showers that continue to track to the south but also dissipate at the same time. So the reason why we are looking at very dry weather is because of this very strong upper level high pressure system that is expected to move our way in the coming days. Now also our pressures will rise so that means we are looking at lots of sunshine so dry and stable weather and our temperatures are going to be influenced from the system as well. Anytime high pressure really builds here in the atmosphere especially in the upper levels it really helps to increase our temperatures. So this is what we can expect over the coming days. It is expected to build just a little bit, not get very strong, but just strong enough to help influence our weather over the next several days. So we're thinking through the weekend and also possibly into next week, we could still be looking at very similar weather conditions as what we are seeing here, uh, what we had yesterday and what we're going to be seeing here today. As far as our weather is concerned, as far as any thunderstorms that is, mainly are going to be focused off towards the west. So areas like Culberson County, Marfa Plateau, anywhere really in the Trans-Pecos and the mountains has the best potential to see any thunderstorms developing, but you can see just how dry and clear the Permian Basin is this afternoon through the evening as well. Heading into tomorrow, we can expect more of the same. Any storms that could develop will be focused along the higher terrain, not so much though here across the Permian Basin of Odessa and in Midland. Here's a look at your day planner this afternoon. Temperatures are warming up to around 88 degrees by noon with a high expected to be roughly 101 degrees. That's when we'll see most of the peak here of the daytime heating because of that sunshine that's going to be in full swing. Uh, a couple of clouds as we head into this evening with temperatures still pretty warm into those low to mid 90s. Everywhere else this afternoon is expected to warm up pretty substantially too, not just Odessa Midland. You can see triple digits between 104, 105 and Pecos and 103 potentially today in and around Fort Stockton. But as we head into tonight, we drop down into the 70s for most of us under mostly clear skies and those winds out of the south mainly at around 10 to 20 miles per Hour. And over the next 10 days, we talked about that high pressure system that's really going to be influencing our weather. So that's why nothing really changes here over the next several days here across much of Midland Odessa and West Texas and Southeast New Mexico in general. Highs will be around 100 to 102 today and tomorrow. Highs uh, still expected to be in that range through the rest of the work week ahead. This weekend, possibly slightly cooler if you want to call it that, but upper 90s nonetheless are still expected there. Lots of sunny weather and we could be looking at the upper 90s to triple digits as we head into next week under mostly sunny skies. So overall, it's just a very dry, sunny and hot weather pattern for West Texas.